Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Dexter Season 8 Thoughts. Excuse me. Now, I noticed that this one introduced some really flashy editing with not all of it flashy, but certainly has this, you know, some jumping back and forth and, you know, yeah, fading between and sort of. And, and it, I feel that it works for the season. It, you know, they use it for memories of things and when people are, you know, when the characters are really stressed and when they're trying to remember or the like, you know, the when when Dexter tries to rub the blood off the bear, you know, or yeah, the the stuffed toy, you know, that is this thing of no matter how much he tries, he can't, you know, wipe it off, and his mind keeps going back to, oh crap, I just, I saw it, and it, there, there's blood, I have to get this blood gone, it, it's not going, you know, this kind of thing, and, and Deborah in, you know, remembering being in the cargo container, and her, you know, killing El Sapo, which I can only assume is Spanish for sap, you know, so, so yeah, it, it worked, I thought. When we first saw the ve the vase, I thought that maybe it was bugged, like either by Maria or even Batista, you know, some kind of, yeah, I mean, he did just find those, you know, what's it called, the, the warrants, and yeah, but, you know, it was just there for Harrison to accidentally destroy and Dexter to yell at him as this kind of, yeah, you know, he doesn't, he's having trouble with, you know, living in both worlds, and now Jamie has less time for that, because she has Joey now, and, you know, also when Batista got out the warrants, you know, it's like, is this ever going to end, or will Dexter be found out one way or another? Now, I thought the you know the early scenes of Deborah were quite strong, where she talks about you know I killed the wrong person in the trailer, and you know when the the fence asks about Dexter, she says he's just some loser. Now. I quite like the password that Deborah chose. Now, not to be crass, but Batista says the the bench is not enough to, you know, commemorate Maria. She should have something more than, you know, something for people to park their butts on. Personally, I feel that if you imagine that the the bench itself is her mouth, yeah, I think you get where I'm going. Now, let's see. I I thought Vogel was uh, an interesting character, and you know, not long you know when she's introduced, she very quickly. You know, she, we can tell from right away, she does not believe that Dokes was the Bay Harbor Butcher. And, you know, she shows Dexter the the drawings and he goes and, you know, you know, grabs her and she's like, Dexter, you can't kill me, why not? Because I don't fit Harry's code. Ah, it's, it's no worry, he'll get Deborah to do it. Now... Oof. 
when when I saw Matthews, and I, I'm not entirely sure how he came back. He was forced to retire, and I mean, this, it wasn't just Maria doing it. It was, I mean, she she leaked the the, you know, the the story on him. She, you know, it it wasn't just her keeping him. Now. And in this we see, you know, Harrison is getting to the age where he can be a little more difficult and yeah, without Jamie, you know, Dexter finds it's very, very difficult to keep the, you know, yeah, to, to, to live both lives. And, you know, he, he picks him up with really bloodied hands. He's, you know, he's having trouble protecting Harrison. Now, I like that, you know, Jamie with Quinn does make sense. They hinted at it at the end of Season 7, you know, after the, yeah, you know, the first time he hit on her. It didn't go so well. And then the second time, it's, you know, she shows that, yeah, she's, like she says, she doesn't need her brother to protect her. Which, you know, she, she never did. He thinks that she does, but, yeah. And as is often the case, she's a good girl in real life, but kinky in bed. So, yeah. Now... Now, when each time that, you know, Jake gave her that, you know, electrolyte drink thing, I was wondering if that would turn out to be that he was drugging her with something, but that never, yeah, it, it might have been just a red herring rather than me trying to read too much into it, or reading too much into it. Now, I, th I quite like, you know, this idea of Vogel having helped craft the code, and, you know, this, you know, this way that she fully accepts Dexter and understands, and, yeah, giving him another you know, parental figure, but this time, you know, a live one. Now, we find out that Sussman was coerced to, you know, to kill the, the brain surgeon victim. I wasn't entirely sure if this means that he always coerces, but yeah, I'll, I'll get more into that. Now, I, I liked Vogel pointing out that some of the most successful people have psychopathic traits. That's quite true, you know, they really have that drive to success and this, you know, and they don't think about the people that they might hurt along the way. Now. And this also shows us that Batista came back, you know, presumably because Deborah quit. Now. And, you know, and Batista found out about Jamie and Quinn, and, you know, they both tried to get him to make sergeant. Yeah. Now the the bit with Harrison, you know, you know, with with the red and you know, it turned out to be popsicles. My money was on that it would be a dream. Now, 
Early on, we have Quinn driving Miss Deborah. And, you know, Dexter, you know, wonders if he's like Ray, you know, who we learn fairly early enjoys finger food. Now, you know, and Vogel asks, why didn't you kill Deborah? You know, and, and is his love of her truly selfless? Now, I've, you know, it really, it was really gripping when Deborah actually tried to confess to killing La Guerta. You know, and, and Vogel says, you know, I, I can help her. And, you know, Dexter's like, what if she gets violent? You know, and she's, you know, it's, I, I can handle that. You know, I already know that she has a gun. Yep, I just made, you know, reference to both of them as shooting the other. I, I really think that the season would have benefited from a, you know, a duel between the two. Although, it's it's pretty clear that Deborah is, you know, as as she and and Joey point out, she keeps getting shot. So, yeah. Now, and it's often not long after she has been involved in cheating with someone or on someone. So. Yeah, there's there's a bit of a moralizing 80s slasher kind of thing going on there. Now, I liked, you know, when we see Vogel actually do the psychiatrist thing, you know, she, she really pushes people and, yeah, you know, we, the, when she's with, AJ and you know the the power dynamic really shifts. Now, you know I mean you know he he she she cut in you know in his brain and you know he's like that really helped a lot didn't it? What I'm saying is I want a second opinion. Now, when Vogel let her keep the the DVD with you know Harry talking to, to Vogel about Dexter you know again I thought this might be really dangerous that you know it incriminates all three of them now I quite like Vogel in her little parent like moments you know us off table and you know uh, can I drive? Not a chance. My car's even older. Than, my car is older than you are. You know these things. Now, and I liked her. You know, thinking of Dexter as a force of nature, and she really manipulates both Dexter and Deborah to, you know, keep them apart. And and the bit with the journal. You know, I, I really liked his snarky. You know, don't forget to write this in the journal. Now, and you know, Deborah tries to kill both of them. You know, Dad only got it half right. And you know, we we see that she actually, you know, we we realize she was saying goodbye to Quinn. You know, when she, you know, this stuff of I want you to do well, I want you to be happy, and you know, hugging him and that. Yeah, she was ready to to die and you know the then you know she's rescued by this guy who promptly evaporates so that Deborah is the only one who can save Dexter I thought that maybe you know he would wake up you know on a table with her above him or something oh it wouldn't be the first time he was in that kind of situation and we already know he doesn't like that you know that perspective on that situation but yeah and you know, even though that wasn't what we got, I did find the, you know, opening with with family therapy at Vogel's, no less, was was quite fun. And this thing of you know, we'll never get anywhere if one of you doesn't start talking. Now, I 
Eso. Vamos a... I thought there would be a bit more with Jake, you know, one half or one third of the Boondock Saints, you know, other than, you know, we, we find out early that he hates his dad, which I guess really shows that that, you know, whole Boondock Saints thing didn't work out. And, you know, yeah, it's... Yeah, I, th I thought more would come of his strained relationship with his family. Now... Not much really came of Masuka being a father, but, you know, it, I did like that, you know, of course it starts with him hitting on her. You know, and and you know he compliments his own eyes, and then they chuckle the same way. Blah. Now, I like where you know season seven explores. You know, with Dexter doing what he does, sooner or later someone close to him would find out about it, and what does that do to him? Do to them in season eight? You know, the the death of an innocent is caused by his killing, you know, it, again, sooner or later, it would happen. Now, it turned out that no one really noticed about Sepp dying. You know, I, I figured that maybe his employer, you know, he had been sent to kill the fence and get the diamonds, and then he dies, and yeah, but nothing comes of that. There's no follow up on that. Now. I also thought the whole family therapy thing showed that both Dexter and Deborah had complicated feelings towards one another. Now. Now I suppose that I thought that when AJ died, that the season monster would already be dead, but then, you know, it turned out that, yeah, it wasn't him. Now, with... When AJ was under the bed and Deborah was walking around, you know, very near it, I thought that maybe he would pull her under, you know, you know, it wouldn't be the first, Carpenter has got to be used to it by now, it wouldn't even be the first time on this show. Now. You know, I, I, I thought it was kind of funny when the, you know, when, when Jamie introduces Dexter to Cassie and, you know, it's like, you know, you haven't been with any, you know, yeah, you haven't been with anyone since, you know, Hannah is, find a new serial killer to, to be with, you know, and I guess this also confirms that the new friend that he, you know, that we saw in the opening of, you know, the season opener, was indeed a one night stand. And you know, Quinn thinks that Nikki wants, you know, money, maybe a kidney, and you know, he's like saying, you know, next thing you know, you're gonna be, you know, shoved out of, you know, a tall building just for that. Now. I thought the, you know, the thing with Zach was was interesting. You know, he, he yeah, he, he killed Norma, you know, bludgeoning, and, you know, almost kills his father. And it turns out it's for the right reason. And, yeah, you know, it's a, yeah, can, can Dexter be the... 
be his Harry. Now. You know, when, when, when Angie Miller, who turns out does have a name, when she talked to Quinn, you know, briefly and said, you know, I know that the sergeant position will be one of us. Can, can we agree that we'll stay friends? And then he says, I didn't know we were friends. Were you even here before, like, those few episodes of the season before this one? You know, it's, yeah. And we don't even really see, the. she's more or less there so, so that he doesn't get the sergeant position. I'm not sure we even really see her do anything as the sergeant. Yeah, but the, you know, yeah, now. But, but yeah, you know, Vogel treating Zack, she's, she's sure that she can help Zack, Zack, the psycho killer maniac, and, you know, teach him Harry's code via Dexter. When, you know, when Dexter led him on to the crime scene and he was taking photos, I thought that at least one of them would have Dexter and, you know, thus be incriminating. Now, you know, and he takes another person off his table, and Matthews asks Quinn to not look further into Zach, you know, himself being quite familiar with rich, you know, upper class people not being too connected with the death of lower class people. Now, I suppose when, you know, it turns out that Harrison did break the remote, I thought that, you know, did hide and break the remote, I thought that that would turn out to be Cassie, who, you know, again, either I'm looking too much for stuff like that, or I, you know, or it was an intentional red herring. But, you know, yeah, it turns out that he lied about the remote, and then he said, you know, but daddy lies. You told me that, you know, Doggy, you know, was gone, but I saw you throw him out, so I got him back, you know, and and Dexter, you know, looks at, oh, it does have incriminating blood, but, okay, Harrison, as long as, you know, he lives under the bed, I'm willing to let sleeping bloody dog lie. Now. I suppose, you know, and, and when Dexter and, and Cassie dates, you know, every time he says something about himself, she's like, well, I already know that, or, yeah, but that's not that big of a deal, is it? And, yeah, you know, <laughs> he says, I didn't remember that dating was this hard, or dating is harder than I remembered. Now. I had not expected to see Masuka hugging Deborah, nor it being sweet, nor Deborah allowing it. And we find that Jake is very protective of Deb, you know, and downright, you know, abusive. He's, you know, he's the typical friend zone guy with, you know, I mean, he's talking about, you know, I, I put up with, you know, stuff you did poorly at your work. If, if it's about that, you could handle that professionally, you know, and yeah, I'm, I was really glad to see her leave the job not too long after because it really wasn't safe for her to be there. He would, you know, the, the violence that he showed towards, you know, his, what, brother-in-law would have hit her at some point as well. Now... the when when Hannah came back that was really chilling you know hello Dexter remember me and you know she clearly poisoned both of them yeah 
and you know I mean she's taking a huge risk being near Miami and you know and and when last we saw her she didn't kill Deborah because she wouldn't kill the lieutenant of homicide Deborah is no longer the lieutenant of homicide so yeah now you know and and the following episode Matthews insists to Quinn let it go and Quinn is like okay as long as you don't sing and you know I like the you know the the twist that it wasn't Zach who killed Cassie you know and again we didn't see him like he didn't approach Cassie and like start to attack her or anything we just saw him enraged right outside Dexter's and she's there and yeah, so you think that he returned and killed her, but yeah, you know, and it's this thing of he killed before, so we do have to, you know, be be careful about him killing again. But you know, both Zach, yeah, Zach Vogel and the Marshal all died very convenient times, you know, closing off what would go on with their character. You know, when when Zack dies, it really frees Dexter up. He doesn't have to spend time and effort training Zack. Now. And. Yeah, you know, it, it, we again have this thing of can two killers work out? You know, had, it didn't work out with Zack. Didn't work out with Hannah the first time. Will it this time? Yeah. And you know, Deb follows them with you know using the GPS thing. Now, and you know, yeah, with with Hannah, you know, it's like you know, you know, leave leave town in a few days, but not until we talk again. And you know she was there to get him to kill Miles, but then realized it would be bad for him to kill someone again. So you know she decides not to. And yeah, and and you know him him knowing she used to hate the water. And you know and of course she married and she married rich. You know. And I like when when we see Dexter is just really jealous of you know what kind of name is Miles anyway. Now, and he has Dex beaten, and you know the two of them followed for or Hannah followed for the flower mark, and again you know he turns violent because he is you know abusive, and you know she ends up killing him. Now. I liked, you know, Zach recreated the kill room from memory. That was very nicely done. And and the bit with, you know, is she cool? She is cool. Now, and, you know, it turn, turns out that his blood was planted. And it, it was a pretty good frame job, really. Now, and, you know, when... Yeah, and, and you know that thing of you know, why didn't you know Deborah asked, why didn't you kill why didn't Hannah kill me? She asked of Hannah and she said, you know, it would hurt Dexter, so I didn't do it. And now I'm asking you to not you know, take me in because that would hurt Dexter. And, you know, and, and Dexter shows up, well you're still both breathing, so that's good. Now you know, and when Hannah and Dexter are about to say goodbye. You know that it's gonna, you know, you knew that it was gonna, it it was gonna lead to a kiss, and that the kiss would lead to sex. Now, I quite like the the intro at Vogel's, you know, all these, you know, serial killers meeting, and you know, and and Dexter doesn't say a lot, and then you know, well, there's this killing. Do you have photos? You know, and there's just yeah, and and what is it? Vogel says, I doubt there's anything, 
you know, this table can't handle. Now. And, you know, are we there yet? Which is pretty funny. Now. I thought it was a nice twist that Vogel's son turned out to be you know, the brain surgeon, and that he killed his own brother and then faked his death at age 17. I wasn't entirely sure. I feel like we didn't know enough about the brain surgeon. I'm gonna, rather than go back and forth between Daniel and Oliver, I'm gonna go with Dano. I don't feel like we got to know him well enough. I, why was he dating Cassie? And I, I get that he turned out to be too clingy and you know, he killed her because they didn't, you know, yeah, she wasn't, yeah, she wasn't as interested in the relationship as he was. And, you know, it's, it's that thing he said, of, you know, I have trouble with relationships with women. And, yeah, you know, he, he's clingy because his mother, he didn't feel like he got enough, enough attention from his mother. And... You know, he's obsessing about the song and such, but it seems like he would have been caught long before with, you know, I mean, he doesn't even have that good of a story for, you know, I also feel like they dropped the, the issue very quickly of, you know, that thing of how, how could he have managed to kill her. It's a few minutes away from here. Yeah, you can check my workbook. It seems like, yeah, he, he killed her, and then, got... yeah, I don't know, it, it didn't seem like that big of, that good of a cover-up to me, and the, you know, I thought that maybe, you know, did he, did he always do, like, copycat? killing like he makes it look like Sussman you know yeah first it looks like Sussman was the the brain surgeon and then Miami Metro closes the case and then he makes it look like AJ was the one you know he he takes a break in brain surgeon killing after you know AJ is dead and that also why exactly did you know that particular is that when he started dating Cassie, maybe? But, but, yeah, it just... And, and why... Why hadn't he started sooner on sending Vogel these messages? I... Yeah, it didn't really... Yeah, I, I feel like we didn't know him enough to... Fully, does he always leave his bodies... For, for others to find and you know just change of his, change up his methods does he ever have to flee where he's living you know yeah just didn't really feel like we knew enough or that it was fully thought out now when he was drinking the tea I really thought that she had drugged the tea now the, the way Dexter drugged hers but, but yeah, you know, when Daniel returns, we realize, well, all we knew about AJ was he was the serial killer, it was when, but we just knew about the shoes. There was nothing specifically about, you know, yeah, it wasn't, there wasn't anything for sure tying him to the, the brain surgeon style killing, if I recall. Now. I now yes, I feel like the season had a number of these really dramatic end, you know, episode endings that then you know are resolved very easily in the the following episode, like when Deborah tries to kill them both in the car, 
you know, when Hannah drugs them both, you know, when we see that Marshall is looking for Hannah, it just, yeah, it was fairly easily resolved, excuse me, over the course of the episode after it. Now, I like the whole thing of, you know, the, the treadmill and then Harrison having to go to the ER and Hannah ris risking being found and, you know, forging Deborah's signature and Deborah going along with that. And, you know, it was nicely enough set up with, you know, he was interested in the treadmill earlier and, yeah, although I do feel like Hannah should have reacted a little faster. It looked like she was doing like dishes or something. Just put them down and go over there and actually stop it instead of just saying, you know, no, don't do it. Now. And, you know, and there's this thing of, you know, she chose the wrong son again. And, you know, someone ended up dead because of it. Someone in her family, no less, ended up dead because of it now and you know he's like if I wanted to kill you I wouldn't be holding this door ah so a gentleman killer then now and you know he recreates the you know the the room where they were or what's the actual room anyway he you know where they were he was forced to take the pills I just you know it's a good thing he didn't also hunger strike or he might have been fed anally now, let's see. I suppose that covers. Which brings me to the final episode. Actually, yeah, the two, the last two episodes. I thought that the. I thought the, the thing of, you know, there's a storm coming was a decent enough kind of, you know, ominous, yeah. And near the end, it was very much, you know, end of a season kind of thing. You know, we had callbacks and so, you know, the, the flashback, the, yeah, that was the actual finale. Flashbacks with where Harrison was first seen by Dexter and such. Now, and, you know, Dexter actually calls in a bomb threat in order to prevent Jake from stopping Hannah, which also, you know, post postpones their trip. And, you know, I, I quite like, you know, Deborah being shot as a... It, it really made us really engaged in where the, the finale would go that... You know, Dana was still out there, and Deb was shot, and then, you know, Dana was taken care of fairly easily, and, you know, they they do that usual thing of, he found a vet, that's always, you know, no questions asked, I need a little bit of medical attention, maybe some stitches, you go to a vet, so, and in this case, it was even, you know, you're, I shouldn't even be here, but I have to, but yeah, now. You know, and Deb is like, you know, talking to Quinn and like, you know, I've done some really awful things. And, you know, he's like, yeah, well, you do other things to make up for it. And she's like, I'd have to save a bus full of nuns to make up for this one. I'd, I'm pretty sure that there is a company for that. Just, you know, just, you know. And I thought it was interesting, probably not accidental, that they named the hurricane after Dexter's mother, you know, the, the showrunners did, his actual mother. And, you know, Hannah Tranks, you know, Jake, you're gonna wake up humiliated and a little cranky, you know, of course she got some, you know, tranquilizer with her. And, you know, when Dexter, you know, puts together the, the fake bomb, 
you know, I, I like that he he put a you know a watch thing in there, so you know it might actually tick. So you know, lending further credence to the theory that maybe it's a bomb. Now. I thought it was, you know, at, at there at the very end with Dexter, you know, pulling the plug on Deb, it makes sense. You know, she wouldn't want to live like that, and he wouldn't want her to have to live like that either. Did think it was really convenient that he managed to just push the, you know, with ease, the, yeah this, you know, the, the bed with her on it out, no problem at all. And, you know, he, he dumps her, you know, burial at sea and all, and, you know, pretends to commit suicide so that he, you know, fakes his death and then, you know, starts a new life off in, you know, the middle of nowhere. He grew out his beard, which I guess does help some, but overall, he looks the same. And, I mean, they're not looking for him as if he were a killer, so, you know, but it is still, like, Jonah knew him from the, you know, knew him from the paper, and everybody knew him from, at the high school reunion, so... Yeah, I just feel like he wouldn't be able to blend in that easily with just that little amount of, yeah. And I, this this thing, I mean, you know, Dex hurts the ones he loves. They have touched upon that earlier in the show and better. You know, it, yeah, it's not as dramatic as when he comes home and, you know, there is, you know, Rita dead in the tub and his son is, you know, there in, you know, in the middle of the blood, just like his own, you know, that was so much more compelling. If that, you know, let's say that season had then had him, you know, after that he then disappears instead of this where yeah he blames himself for, for Saxon managing to shoot Deb but it's still yeah it's just not as compelling as it could have been and you know given given that the the show has been mostly on Dexter's side about the killing this leaves the issue of what about all the monsters still in Miami? You know, it's not as though he doesn't pass on. If they had left Zack alive and Zack took over for, for Dexter and there was this idea of, you know, someone will still be killing the monsters in Miami and he's a very different person than Dexter, but he'll still make sure to vet them and he'll still avoid getting caught. Sure, but, yeah, I don't know, this, yeah, you know, what about the monster still in Miami, what, you know, yeah, won't they run rampant, it's, it's that kind of thing. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.